Good afternoon and welcome to this afternoon's live stream. My name is Dr. Cameron Jones and I'm an environmental microbiologist and welcome to this week's edition of the Mold Show podcast and the video version that I do each week streaming to Facebook. And today we're going to be focusing on a very important aspect of infection control. And the reason that infection control is absolutely so important is obviously we need to make sure that our homes and businesses don't have mold problems, but increasingly importantly, with the COVID-19 crisis and pandemic that's sweeping the world, we need to ensure that our businesses and workplaces are COVID safe. And so last week, I looked at how we can use fluorescent brighteners to determine whether or not cleaners have done a really good job. And the reason that this is particularly important is that you might have heard in the media something called deep cleaning. And deep cleaning really is another word for being very careful when the cleaning process is being undertaken. And the reason for that is that it is possible to uh, decontaminate or disinfect hard surfaces and more porous surfaces in the environment because this issue of shedding of viable virus particles into our workspaces and homes is entirely plausible and in fact there's some excellent literature evidence to support the fact that the transmission of the virus can occur not just through droplet spread talking or singing or coming into contact with someone who is coughing or sneezing but these virus particles are shed into the environment and last week we looked at one way of validating cleaning because as we move towards COVID safe workplaces, it's going to be a responsibility and probably increasingly a legal compliance requirement to ensure that workplaces have done a really good job of cleaning themselves. And so this issue of monitoring or how you monitor the environment, which is called environmental surveillance, becomes increasingly important. And as I said last week, I showed you using uh, fluorescent brightness how you can double check the cleaners. But this week, I'm going to show you how you can do this using just your mobile phone. I'm going to demonstrate this live, but we're going to get started today. So topic of today's talk is how to validate cleaning using your mobile phone for a COVID safe workplace. And what I want to do at this point in time is suggest to you that what are the gyms, for example, going to look like in future? So we're talking about something now called the new normal. Now, certainly in Australia, gymnasiums have not been allowed to reopen yet. But in Hong Kong, there have been some gyms which have opened up this week. And so what are they going to look like? Well, in Hong Kong, they've had to install partitions on between the treadmills, as you can see, so that people are actually maintaining this social distancing uh, issue. And this is fundamental to limiting the person-to-person -person transmission, as I said, via droplet spread or via uh, droplet distribution onto surfaces, which turn into something called fomites, which we've gone on about at length on these shows each week. And then these fomites can then be picked up by hands and then transferred to your face or mucous membranes. And so one thing I want to focus on now is how do you check up on your cleaners? Well, last week I talked about buying an ultraviolet light and buying some fluorescent brighteners. And I went out and I actually did this. And at my other laboratory, I showed you actually how we can validate cleaning and also demonstrate the surface to uh, face transmission using these ultraviolet or photosensitive powders to uh, be reacting with ultraviolet light to demonstrate just how easy it is to cross contaminate the local environment. However, this week I'm going to give you a quick tip and demonstrate to you how we can do this for absolutely nearly no financial outlay. And that's my quick tip of the week. And the do-it-yourself method, you're going to need a few things. And I'm going to highlight these up here now. 
and then go back to the uh, uh, list of these. So you're going to need a blue colored Sharpie, a purple colored Sharpie, a roll of clear sticky tape, a fluorescent marker, obviously a mobile phone, and you're gonna need some sort of torch app on that mobile phone. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna jump over here. You can see I've got some uh, kettlebells uh, in the corner. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate how if you were the proprietor of this particular gym, how you could use just what's on screen now to in a sense um, mark your items and not all of them, but just a representative cross section of the high hand touch items present in that workplace, which you wanna make sure the cleaners have actually cleaned. And I can show you using these simple materials how you go about doing this. So I'm just gonna get up now. I'm just gonna move my computer over so I can see. And I'm gonna show you how we use this. So to just give you an idea of this, this is a um, UV torch, uh, which you can uh, use. And obviously this is what we used last week. I used a lamp version, but I wanna show you how essentially what we're going to do is we're gonna take advantage of the fact that mobile phones have a uh, flash and that flash can of course be covered with something to make a lens and we're going to make a simple ultraviolet lens today and then I'm going to show you how we can then use this to uh, mark some of these items uh, to work out whether or not they have been effectively cleaned and so all we need to do is you're going to need this is some simple physics now so you're going to need a blue colored sharpie and what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little piece of tape and we're gonna place that over the flash like this. And then I'm going to color that in blue with my Sharpie. I'm then going to take a second piece of tape I'm going to overlay that on top of the first piece. I'm going to color that in blue. I'm then going to take a third piece of tape and put that over the first two. And then I'm going to take my purple colored Sharpie and I'm going to draw all over that. Now, how hard was that? Not hard at all. On my app, I have a torch app. I'm gonna show you how that works in a minute, but that is the ultraviolet shining through now. And I wanna show you with the lights off, what this is going to look like. So I'll just move all this out of the way for a start. And if you have, for example, a high touch item like a kettlebell, and you wanted to see whether or not your cleaners were doing a good job, just want to show you what this looks like with the ultraviolet torch. Now you can see that I've actually marked this one up already. So you can see that that is fluorescing quite nicely, but you really, it's a bit hard to see. Uh, with the, um, uh, without the ultraviolet on. And I'm gonna show you now how we can repeat this using another kettlebell and how if I wanted to check up on how effective my cleaners are, I would just use my fluorescent marker to make some marks on my item and then I can come back and check to see how effective the cleaning process has been. And now I wanna show you what's gonna happen when I turn the phone on with the torch. Now, I just might have to orient this. So there you go. Look at that, it's fluorescing very nicely. And you can see that and What's interesting is 
that I can also use my camera to take photographs of this. So I can show you how this is going to look when I take a, a flash photograph. Oh, hang on. I, here you go. And so that shows you how you can use very simple items to make sure that your cleaners have actually done a good job using a Sharpie, a blue and a purple colored highlighter and an app on your mobile phone. So if we move on from here. Last week I told you that uh, I was waiting for a paper to be peer reviewed and accepted. Well, this week it was. Uh, it came back from the reviewers and uh, here is the uh, final version of this. Now, I've put the title of the paper up uh, and basically this is a survey which I did on a cross section of the Australian population to get their th thoughts around environmental surface testing. And this is a really, really, really important topic because as we move towards what I said at the start of this, the new normal, it's going to be very important that we do not only testing of people to ensure that they're not carriers of the virus or actually uh, cases, sick cases with the uh, illness, but we need to make sure that our workplaces are going to be uh, safe and secure. And so I just want to put it up here that there is a lot of information in this survey about various different aspects of uh, occupational health and safety as this uh, pertains to the workplace. But the key thing that I wanted to uh, uh, tell you about is that it is very, very, very easy. You don't need a specific ultraviolet torch. All you need is your phone, some sticky tape, and the ability to judiciously mark certain items in your workplace and then check to see that this fluorescent mark is no longer present. Because if it's no longer present and you have made sure that your cleaners have used a disinfectant which is approved to work against the SARS-CoV-2 virus, well, you can double check to make sure that those items have in fact been effectively cleaned. And that is going to become fundamental to maintaining a COVID safe workplace. In any case, my name is Dr. Cameron Jones. I hope you found this of use. If you have, feel free to leave me a comment or share it. And I will be back next week with more information about infection control and mold and COVID-19. In any case, bye for now. Stay safe. Have a great week. Bye.